Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. I thought it was a good idea if I just showed you a couple of things that I've been doing with the Raspi Arduino recently, which is uh, a new board that I've got on Kickstarter for another few days. This is the address. The web address will take you to the Kickstarter. It's a little board that you can use to learn Arduino programming on the Raspberry Pi. And I just thought I'd show you a couple of things I've done with it, just to give you a flavour of the sort of stuff you can use it for. So over here we have a Arduino. This is like a Rev 5 board. Uh, it's being powered via a lithium polymer battery and a 3.3 volt supply through this breadboard. And this this one is controlling these LEDs and cycling them around. What I'm going to do next, which I haven't done yet, is I'm going to add some speed control here using this light sensor so that when you put your hand over it, it goes slower or faster and the other way around. So that's the next step for that one. Over here we've got the, a three color LED, which was the 15,000 stretch goal. So all Duinos are gonna come with one of those and put a slap a ping pong ball over the top and you have a, a nice little ambilight color fading ball. I don't know how well that's gonna show because it it's quite bright today. Oh, what else to show you? Here we've got the, this is the Rev 7, prototype board that came back from Ragworm um, this week and basically it's got this prototype area the other way around from what the previous board was which was that orientation and now we've got that orientation which enables you to put a chip all the way across there like that if you wanted to um, and here I've just got a little example showing how you can use a ZIF socket so you could use this as a chip programmer, pull that out, stick another chip in. Next, down here and to the right, I have another Duino, which is one of the Rev7 boards, which I built out to test. This one is running two temperature sensors, reading them here and here, and displaying the output on the monitor over here. And I've been programming it using the network connection using SSH with X forwarding, which is a little tutorial that Keith Ellis came up with. So if you haven't yet had a look at the Kickstarter, I recommend you do. So it's finishing on March the 3rd. So this is the address, rasp.io forward slash Duino. Check it out, have a look, and if you like what you see, please back it and help us to make the next stretch goal. I'll be bringing a couple of these to the Pi Birthday Bash this weekend, where I'll also be giving a talk and sitting on a couple of panels. So that's all from me for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.